was another instrumental uh, composed by Norman Blake from his album Whiskey Before Breakfast. And you may know Norman Blake as a flat picker, but he's also an excellent finger picker. And let's do a lesson on this little tune. We're in standard tuning, capo on the second fret. And in the video description here below, you can find a link to the tablature. Um, so let's start. And it's an interesting song because uh, it's with an alternating bass and it moves around a little bit between the 6th and the 3rd string, 6th and 4th string, so uh, that's good practice. And also for the left hand it's a good practice for hammer-ons and pull-offs. So let's start with the introduction. A G chord, and you better grab your G chord uh, as I do because it's simpler afterwards. Uh, don't Put, play a well, G chord like this, that's uh, for the Boy Scouts. Okay. Really slow. That's introduction, two bars. That's not too difficult. So, let's start with the A section. Those were the first two bars. We hammer on. And I do that with first and the third finger, and then uh, pull off, and then the open uh, first and third string, and then and I slide with my second finger because I need that first finger to put on the first fret first string in the third beat. And that's the last beat is thump and then with the index like that and when you're on the third fret you play the bass the open uh, sixth string one more time slowly and then we have a variation See the, the, the bass moves around between 6th, 3rd and 4th and it's important that you uh, play it correctly the last uh, beat because if you don't play the open G string and for example the open 4th uh, string instead well you're going to get in trouble with the next uh, bar. So that 3rd and 4th bar Again, that slide with the second finger. One more time. Sorry. And then pinch index slide to the third fret and bass. That's a difficult part. Then we have a repeat of the first. And then we have a, well it resolves. And I play that hammer on with a temp, right hand temp. Then index, temp, index, middle, temp, index, temp. sideways so I have a bit of nail so the, the sound is more uh, a bit sharper. Otherwise it sounds pure flesh. Okay let's play the first uh, that A section one more time. the 
thing again. And I did some variations. For example, in the second bar, I'll play the first bar. Do that slide to the third fret, uh, third string twice, and then our third bar. And another variation is that you play the first bar, and instead of the third bar, you play the first bar one more time. play it twice, the A section, and then we go to the B uh, section, and when you go to the B section, I uh, replace the last beat in the 8th bar by a rhythmic, uh, well, percussion, percussive hit, so we get... Go to the B section, and start with an F chord, and I use the rap uh, version, my thumb wraps the first string, the first uh, fret of the sixth string. Because if you play a, um, a bar chord, you're gonna have trouble that um, hammer on from the open string to the, third, to the second fret, third string. So that's why the rap is easier. And notice, I'm keeping that second beat short by placing my picking finger on the string after I've picked it. And then to an E7, that's an E. Some variations there, it's not exactly has to be exactly that. And you see, in the second time when I played it, I did it a bit different with more strumming. And I'm strumming down with my nails from the index and middle finger, and I'd hammer on on the uh, first uh, fret, third string. It's so one of those lazy hammer ons, and I touch the strings below the second uh, and maybe the first a bit so these are really strong again that uh, F bar F chord with a uh, rap to a C and to get, grab that second string fourth fret you see I'm releasing my index finger so I can turn my hand a little bit and grab that easier if you keep on go, uh, playing your C chords it's very difficult and especially with open strings like that last note, well it's usually omitted because it's too fast to play it, but you can play it. And that's sort of a G chord and I'm only using the pinky and the third finger. And I'm moving up and down. And back to our uh, E7 chord. And there I use the variation also. You can play, uh, the alternating bass can go between the sixth and the third string. And then I place my pinky on the fourth fret of the sixth string. It's the same note as the third string first uh, fret. So, and now we're starting over. Play the second section, the B section, one more time slowly. So on. 
I did also a variation in that 16 bar. And I'll play it. Now. So I, I didn't bother to play that open third string, but I did a, a little a rhythmic variation. So one more time. And then back to the A section, which we play <coughs> one more time. It's the A, B, A, B, A is the is how you play it. Well, it's one of the possibilities. Okay, have fun with this little tune.